Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I got a hold of the Ruger LCP2 22 long rifle. This thing is cool. Right now in Nebraska, we are trapped under snow and ice. So I'm catching up on some videos, doing some intros here, uh, doing some gun control, doing some office work. This little gun, I can't wait to get outside and shoot. If it's not windy today, I'm gonna go out in Sub-Zero. Uh, I shouldn't say Sub-Zero. Um, uh, that's a fish story. Uh, teens and 20s, but it's cold. Anyway, this little thing is awesome. My initial impression is, <laughs> yeah, this is cool. It weighs 11 ounces, okay? And I know it's a 22 long rifle. I'm not trying to sell this as, you know, an ideal concealed carry. My opinion is anything that you carry is better than nothing. Now, what is cool is this little dinky thing holds 10 plus one. I would argue you need to check out my video on the world's deadliest 22 long rifle round. Putting 10 of these on target in a self-defense round, you know, I, I would feel comfortable with that. Turned it to mush. And it's certainly better than nothing, but it's just a cool little pocket pistol. You know, a backup, however you want to look at it. Plinking, training, you know, if you've got a LCP in nine or 380, you can shoot with this, practice, get comfortable, and save yourself a ton of money on ammo. So anyway, let's take a look at the features here. You know, like I said, the clip, 10 plus one. It's comfortable, okay? Super easy light pullback. It is not ambidextrous. So there is nothing on the left side, everything, or sorry, nothing on the right side, everything is on the left side. The safety here is in a great spot for, it's on safety, it's in pocket, pull it out, and I just flip it forward. It's not the most ergonomic to put into safety. You gotta grab and push back this way, but that's really not the issue. We'd be looking at taking it from safety, pull it out, and we're ready to go. Mag release is right here next to it. Breakdown, we've got this little pin here. Do not try to use your fingernails, guys. You're gonna separate it from your finger and that's gonna hurt like hell. You have to get a little tiny screwdriver, pop it in there, it pops out, and then the barrel, or the sorry, the slide just comes right off. Barrel pops out, slide it right back on, and pop that pin in. The pin does not go through like on a lot of other models, so you can't start it on the right side. You gotta take that screwdriver or something and pop it out. Uh, not, not a huge fan of this design. I don't know if they could have made it go through. Trigger pull, you know, it's got the safety here. It's an okay trigger. It won't pull with the mag out, so we gotta put the mag in, and then we pull and it's actually a pretty crisp, clean break. Not glass rod-like break, but considering what it is, it's pretty nice. Um, the reset is not bad either. It's got a long reset. but then a nice quick break after the reset. The sights on this, they're an integrated fixed sight, so they're molded or they're part of the slide, okay? Can adjust them. I don't know, I'm assuming that they're perfect. I hope so, and we'll shoot. The one thing, and I wish Ruger would do this, is start putting some dots, make it easier to see, because as you can see, it came and it really didn't provide a great sight picture. Now I have this paint, you can take a look here. I got this like 15, 20 years ago and I'm still using it. And man, what a difference that makes. And as far as both eyes open and a close quarters, bringing it up, those colors, I used green and orange, actually make it, will test it, make it really easy to just pop it up and target acquisition. Something else that Ruger did that I have not seen on others 
is they've got this little thing here for the trigger stop over travel stops from over traveling it's actually a pretty ingenious idea so again this thing only weighs 11 ounces and it is small i do not have big hands guys i got i, I can wear small surgical gloves if i need to medium comfortable definitely not large and look at how small this thing is in my hand it is actually very comfortable to just drop in your pocket and Ruger sent you a nice little pocket holster. One thing on the mag here, when it comes to loading the mag, it's very small. It doesn't have what Ruger typically has where it's got these little latches or knobs or something that you can grab to pull down. So you have to either press them in, which really doesn't work. So I know it's going to seem a little odd. <laughs> they gave you a loader. Now, you don't need that because it's hard, but you need it because you don't have any other way to pull that down. And when you're pushing them on top here, they slide off. So this just makes it quick and easy. So it's not a difficulty thing. It's, I guess you could call it an accuracy thing to make sure that you can just drop them in. And that was actually good thinking on Ruger to include this. And this is a message for Ruger or for any other gun manufacturer. A little pistol like this in 22 is a pretty cool idea. And I like that we have 10 in here. What would be awesome is to have something this small with a double stack. Being able to get like 20, now that is going to be a game changer. This thing is so ridiculously thin it wouldn't take much to just get a little bit beefier handle here and to do a double stack, that would be cool. All that's left is for the sun to come up, get outside, hopefully we've got some weather and shoot. This got a, what is it, a 2.75 inch barrel. That's not long. I have a feeling it's gonna have pretty good accuracy for what it is. Uh, anxious to try that. Um, the trigger, again, we'll see how good accuracy we can get. We've got about a 6.5 pound trigger pull, which is not bad. For this kind of gun, it's a pretty decent trigger. So let's just get outside and see what we can do with this. Okay, so I said it's going to wait for nice weather. I, I just, this thing is burning a hole in my pockets. I got to give it a try. <laughs> I love it doing this channel and running these guns, they eat up a lot of ammo. Um, and that costs a lot of money. You see here, my Amazon page. This is where I find a lot of my crazy stupid deals for optics and anything that Amazon allows me to sell, um, some tactical gear and stuff. The other thing here is my online courses. You know, ways to cut costs at home. All of my courses here have a 30 day money back guarantee check them out. Yet, if you shop on Amazon for anything, if you simply go in under my link, I get a commission on anything and everything you buy. And now that YouTube has denied me monetization, got to think outside the box. Amazon page is huge. So go through, check out my Amazon page. A lot of you have been doing awesome. Thank you for your support.
for a two and a half inch barrel 22 long rifle that's pretty good let's do it let's try 100 <laughs> first shot that'll probably be the only one and did it again Guys, that's not bad, again, for this little thing at 100 yards. I'm actually really happy with this. Okay, if you notice throughout the video, I had some feeding issues. It really didn't seem to make much of a difference which ammo happened more with the lead round nose and actually took it apart and I buffed and polished the feed ramp and that took care of the problem. So. There must have been a burr or something on there or quality control issue. And yeah, I mean, you shouldn't necessarily have to buff a part, but it happens. When I did some research and stuff, I wasn't seeing that anybody else was having that issue on reviews. I have put probably 500 rounds through this now, and I'm not having any issues with that whatsoever now that I, that I just did a little buff there on the feed ramp. So that was really the only issue that I had with this, I like it. So what do I think of this Ruger LCP 22? I really like it. I mean, we're at, we're over 25, we're probably 30 yards here, maybe even 40. And the ability to get rounds on target with this two and a half inch barrel is amazing. Um, it really is an accurate little firearm. I'm gonna give you a bonus here. At the end of this, I'm gonna empty 10 rounds of this into a ham with what I have come to believe is the world's deadliest 22 long rifle round. And when you see this, it's gonna make you go, hmm, as far as a concealed carry. Now, I'm not gonna argue that this is the best choice or that it is necessarily ideal but you got to see what you can do with this with 10 rounds of this fragmenting hollow points um, into a ham you get more than adequate penetration and basically every shot is once it hits three projectiles with eight inches of penetration on a solid ham it's amazing. Um, you know, at the very least, it makes you think back up all the way. If not, you know, you just want something small. Anyway, Ruger LCP. Um, one, one thing that they need to do, just like all their other pistol mags, is they need to put a little latch, at least on one side. The mag loader, this thing is great. It's super easy, except... If you lose this, it is going to be a bitch to load this thing. I would like to have something so that I could just pull it down. Um, otherwise, you know, the mag adapter, it works great. Love this pistol, guys. Um, don't forget the bonus here. I didn't put it in because it's, it's kind of long, cutting up the ham. Until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, gun control starts with you and me.
Okay, so here's the front side of our shirt and denim. Obviously it goes through all that just fine. There's the exits on the denim. Um, we hit some bone there, we'll look at that. We'll go through this. We come over to the back side and this is eight inches of penetration. Here's the ones that basically hit the cardboard, the double layer cardboard, and stopped. And then we have a whole bunch here on the back. It almost looks like a buckshot or a shotgun wound, but that is eight inches of penetration. I'm gonna set the camera on the tripod here and we'll just peel these back one layer at a time. Wow, <laughs> as you can see, it's, it's just a mess. It, Absolutely shredded this. Turned it to mush. So we continue to go down through the layers here. A little bit less destruction. We still have lots of Fragment channels. There's a sharp piece right there. You know, now this is this is six inches in, and we still have then multiple holes. We get all the way down to eight inches and then we start pulling out those little wing pieces. Each bullet separates into three of these. Wow, and then we get down to the very last layer and it really looks like a shotgun hit and I think that's the thing that's amazing about this round and why I claim that this is the world's deadliest 22 long rifle round so if each one of those shots we fired 10 shots breaks into three of these okay that's 30 of these that's no different than getting hit with a buckshot load. There was quite a few that went through. Here's just the ones that were sitting on the back. There's more in here somewhere. Some in the bone.
There we got eight and a half inches of penetration through solid ham. Let's see if we hit any bone. Piece of shrapnel clear at the back. A lot of denim, a lot of denim. This is just mush through here. I'm guessing this is where it started fragmenting. You can see guys, and we're coming in on this side, we've got a lot of the blue jeans in this wound channel, I mean, you have to admit for a 22 long rifle, that's pretty good. 